Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Shimmer Shop Project. I'm excited about this place. This place is still down in the south of England. It's a very little known place, but for me, insider knowledge from somebody who told me to come here and check it out, I thought, yes, I must do this. And therefore, you are in for a treat. I don't know what it is that draws people like me to insight from the locals. But there must be something special about the insight they give you. And therefore, a little thing is always talk to people. Always ask people what they think you should be doing. Although you might have things planned you can always go out of your way and do things the locals say is pretty fabulous because you just never know and if you've got that insider knowledge it's absolutely amazing so guys here we are today this is known as the lavington common it's called the lavington common little known as i said earlier simply because not many people visit here but the owner of the campsite said to me you must visit he said, you must visit the Lavington Common. We're still deep in the South Downs National Park. And um, I'm just excited by what he means by you must visit. So whatever it is, for me, it's still an adventure. We're still in nature. We're still in the outdoors. So I love it. Absolutely love it. Insider knowledge. Top tip. Always take up on insider knowledge. I call these trees jungle trees simply because they have no branches at the bottom and they're really tall and all the branches and any foliage focuses right at the top of the trees and when you look at these trees from an aerial perspective they actually create a canopy almost like a jungle so if you have a bunch of trees and you're looking at it from the top they actually look like a jungle they are pretty intense trees. I love them, absolutely love them. I haven't seen them in many places. Not seen them in many places at all, actually, except for a certain area of the South Downs. It's quite spectacular. I have seen them from an aerial perspective, and that's how I know they look like jungle trees. They look like you're in the jungle when you're actually looking at them from the top. And when you actually pass through them and hike through the trees. It's pretty spectacular. It's really amazing. As you can see, it's very dry. It is very dry. 
no doubt because of the heat that we've had recently and being summertime but I would imagine this is more of a nature reserve and it is a type of heathland this would be heathland meaning very dry coarse robust hardy plants and I have also seen cow patches around so cows obviously are let loose in this place to to eat her and maintain the grounds or these massive heathlands but that means the cows must be very hardy as well it must be a hardy breed because there isn't much to eat here meaning what the cows would eat is actually very dry heathland grass and bushes so must be must be very hardy breed of cows I can't inspect the cow patches to tell you anything but it's just my observation this stuff is very dry very very dry it doesn't look like there's much nutrition in it I think I'm gonna take some cover and some shade it honestly feels like it feels like you're in Spain or in Morocco or somewhere still green but dry very arid and heathlands I guess are lush and lush in the sense they have plants that thrive here but they're very dry with minimal moisture the trails are very dry like I said it feels like Spain in the summer or Morocco or somewhere like that North Africa in the summertime but nevertheless a fantastic beautiful adventure I'm so glad the campsite owner actually told me this place is something you might want to go check out because it's pretty cool and it's not far from the campsite and so here I am Lavington Common now the other thing is adventures you got to take the opportunity when it's thrown at you so a lot of people say okay I have nothing to do today I'm just gonna go see something that is great for the kids which is fine or I'm just gonna sit by the campsite or the hotel or whatever bed and breakfast you have Airbnb and I'm just gonna sit here chill out or maybe go eat something and just get because I have nothing planned because I have nothing planned but the thing is adventures are sometimes unplanned and your kids your family your mind your body your soul actually gets impacted by these impromptu hikes you thrive on impromptu hikes or impromptu bike rides or adventures or micro adventures and this is a micro adventure it's not going to be very long but it is fascinating nonetheless because this place actually looks like I'm in the middle of Spain and Morocco Algeria North Africa sort of areas arid heathland it's pretty astonishing I wouldn't have seen this anywhere else but this adventure I decided to do and now I do see it so it's all about making up your mind oh but it's hot it's really hot I'll stand here for a couple more minutes eh I thought these were bugs bugs covering covering this bush but they're not I don't know what they are but they're furry little things they got little white hairs on them feels good to sit down for a while drink some water it's been nice and warm I'm not complaining I love the warm weather it's been very hot to be honest and obviously these arid conditions in 
the Lavington Common, uh, which I believe is maintained by the National Trust, by the way. This is National Trust land. Um, it's very arid and it's very dry, but it's fantastic. Nevertheless, makes you thirsty, makes you even hotter on a hot day. If you come out to places like this with your dog, don't forget to bring some water for them too because there's no creeks, no rivers, ponds or anything like that for them to drink some water or jump in and cool down. It's actually just heathland, dry, arid and it's hot. Always bring water for them too. A lot of these trails are sandy, like beach sand. I don't know where it comes from. Surely it's not been deposited on all the trails around the South Downs. It can't be. But some I've walked on have thick, thick layers of sand. Almost like it's been put there, but I don't think it is because it's everywhere. Very strange. It's not all bad, but I'm just wondering where does the sand come from? Well, there we are guys. We have pretty much covered every trail that I've seen within the Lavington Common, here in the village of Grafham, in the South Downs. Bring yourselves here, bring your kids here, camp out in Grafham, there's a campsite there, and chill out and go for this little hike, which I think you, your kids, would love it. And if you go bikes, bring your bikes, because it's nice flat land. It is dry and a bit sandy, but you will love it. It's been a hot day, but it's been a micro adventure I have loved every second of. Go ahead and uh, subscribe right here and subscribe right here and smash that like button. And I will see you out and about.